Hello everyone, Ben Wakeman here, field agronomist from Bex Hybrids in Southern Illinois. Today I'm back at our Effingham PFR location and this time I'm joined with Tony Utel. Tony Utel is a brand new PFR technician here at our Effingham location. Great to have you on the team, Tony. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Thanks, Ben. Uh, like Ben said, I'm a PFR technician here in Effingham. Grew up on a farm locally here, family farm, and have some experience, past experience with uh, uh, another research farm too. Awesome, awesome. So you know, Tony, um, you know, you've kind of been familiar with PFR both working, um, you know, at other research farms, had some experience in the seed industry, stuff like that. You know, what's something that excites you about getting to work with PFR every day? I think it's exciting to be able to bring products and practices to local farmers, a lot of local farmers that I know, so that they can make better decisions on their farm and make more money in the long term. Awesome, awesome. So, you know, if, if, if you think about maybe some studies that we've done at PFR maybe in the past two to three, four years, something like that, what is one study that really sticks out to you as being the most prominent um, study that you really get into the most? Mm -hmm. I would say it's the strip till study, specifically broadcast versus branded strip till. I think there's a lot of money to be made with dropping our fertilizer rates with the banded option. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, you know, that's, that's been something we've gotten a lot of popularity, a lot of interest out of in, in recent years. We've studied at multiple locations. We haven't studied it here at Effingham, um, but, but looking at a uh, combination of fertilizers like uh, MAP and potash, looking at those different percentages, things like that out there. Um, so, you know, with the results that we have here, well, what, what's something that's interesting when you look at these results that we have presented here? So while the 75% rate control with the conventional till actually won the study, interestingly enough, the 25% rate on the strip till banded study was within $2. So I think there's there's a lot of money to be made with dropping our fertilizer rates, putting it in a high concentration band, and going that route. Awesome. You know, that's exactly right. You know, prices are high, you know, fertilizer prices, seed prices, everything is up, you know, as compared two years ago, you know, if there's any way that we can be more efficient or cost effective with these dollars that we're spending to get the same dollar return, it's very, very important with that. So, you know, th these are studies that we're going to continually do out here. Um, by all means, if you guys have any comments, questions, suggestions for any of us, feel free to reach out to myself or even Tony or Jacob here at the PFR Farm. All of us are working together on how we can make uh, PFR better, how we can bring value to your guys' farm things like that. So we're always looking for new ideas here on the farm. Um, so with that, thanks and have a great day.